I'm Adil Kumar and here is the video on area of model for multiplication of fractions. This is on request of my subscriber. Let me first thank him. The question here is multiplication of fractions with area model. That is what we are going to explore with two simple examples. And in both what you find here is that we are multiplying improper fraction with a proper fraction. So in this case we are taking multiplication of improper fraction improper fraction because the numerator is higher than denominator right times proper fraction okay so the first one is 3 over 2 times 1 over 4 will apply the area model. Area model really means that take up some rectangle, right? So we'll just take any rectangle. Rectangle has an area, right? It's a two-dimensional figure. It has some area. Now, when we write 3 over 2, we'll divide this rectangle into halves and then take three halves, right? But if you divide one rectangle into halves, you cannot take three halves, right? So what do you have to do? you have to at least take two rectangles. That's the whole idea. So if I divide this rectangle into half, I can only take two halves, not three halves. So that is why we draw two rectangles which are treated as exactly same and these halves are all equal. Now once we have this, we can divide and now we can take three halves, three over two. So that is one half, this is the second half, and that's the third half, right? So 3 over 2. You will also see that we have utilized one of the denominators in forming the number of rows. So this 2 is giving us number of rows, right? Now 4, which is a denominator of the other fraction, will give us number of columns. Okay, so 1 fourth really means that each rectangle will now be divided into 4 equal parts. So that is half and then half of half. Right, so so we have four equal parts. Now, can you tell me how much is each part? How much is this this small square area as compared to the whole area? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is one out of eight. Do you see that? Each part is one eighth. Right. So remember that. Now we are going to select. 1 out of 4, right? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 parts. We'll select 1 out of 4. So we'll select this one, right? 1 out of 4. Do you see that? So the other fraction, which is 1 out of 4, is the one which I have shaded here in orange. Now when you multiply, you have to take what is common between the two. So what is common between the two? So this area is common, right? This area is also common. This area is also common. So 3 1 8 is common, right? So, so these areas which I have mentioned here are the common areas and they are 3 8 and therefore we can write 3 by 2 times 1 by 4 is equals to 3 by 8, right? So I hope you have got the concept how we get it. We'll apply the same concept once again. We have a very similar question. You can pause the video, answer this question, and then check with my solution, right? So first step, make a rectangle, divide it into three equal parts. So this goes for rows, right? And that will be for number of columns. Okay, so, so we make a rectangle, 
and uh, since it is improper we'll have to make two rectangles only then you can get five one thirds is it okay right each rectangle will be divided to three rows one two and three one two and three at this time you can also divide them into five columns right so so we'll divide say one two three four and five okay seems okay so we'll do one column two columns three columns four and five so now at this stage how much is each column so we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 times 3, 15. Therefore, area of each column is 1 15th of the whole area. That's the concept. So this area is 1 15th. There are 15 such columns and this is one of them. So it is 1 15th of the whole rectangle. Okay. Now let's begin. 5 over 3. So 5 rows five one third row so one two three four and five do you see that so we selected five one thirds now we'll select three fifths three fifths so these are my fifths so we'll select three of them so we have one so I'm not shading this one now we're saying times two and three right so the common portions for three fifths have been shaded we need to count how many are these each is 15th right so each is 15th so these common portions are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so these are 15 and each one is one fifteenth right so what we get here is equals to 15 over 15, which you know is 1, right? So that is how you can multiply improper fractions with proper fractions. I hope the concept is absolutely clear. As a practice question, you can try with 7 over 4 times 2 third, right? And see what you get. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.